driving home from church last night. Look what I found on the road for free. This is a um, bathroom set. It's a toilet paper rack and a towel, towel holder. This is real brass and porcelain. And uh, it's normally a four piece set. It's Victorian style. And I looked it up and they sell them in Lowe's still now for $175 for the set. So this was nice finding this for free on the roadside. Really nice. It's got all the fittings and everything to attach it. So that was really good. I found that on eBay I can get the matching long bar towel rack for $18 in free shipping. So that is, that's a pretty cool find right there. Now these I did not look up, but I looked up the, the average price for this type of a light and they're usually averaging about $100. So these were at the same spot, just sitting on the side of the road, not, not far from home actually. Now they're a little bit aged, I have to say. They're just around the edges here is a little bit of surface rust. So I am considering possibly, see it was a brass coat, you can tell by the greenish patina in there. I am thinking about possibly painting them. I can sand them down and paint them and have myself some really nice bathroom lamps for free. That is a, a good find. I have been concerned about finishing up my house with interior parts as well because I'd hate to have a house up and nothing in it. So I'm always looking as I'm driving around and this is definitely a good thing. And there's about, I'd say $300 of value right there, free. So that's good. That's a little bit of relief. The bathroom is coming together for sure. Well, a few minutes ago when I started doing this, it was full sunny and this side of the floor was in bright sunlight and super hot. So I came back here and I started coating the floor. Now I poured the shellac into a separate container and split it 50-50 with alcohol and it goes on super smooth and easy. Problem is, it's not as dark. The good news is shellac is forgiving from my studies and I can thin this out with alcohol. I just have to take a rag and rub this out with alcohol in the future and I'll have my lighter color here as well as I do here. It's not a lot of difference and once I get over here side by side on the same board which I'll do probably in the next couple minutes now and see how it looks. Uh, it is lighter. I can tell the difference from here. It is noticeably lighter colored. I do like this color better, thinned with alcohol. But once you put another coat on, I don't know what it's going to look like after that. Anyway, there's my floor. I really do like the color with alcohol. So, if anybody ever follows suit using shellac, just remember, it is forgiving, you can thin it with alcohol, denatured alcohol, not rubbing alcohol, denatured alcohol. And you can also lighten it if you have to rub it off later. You can correct mistakes with alcohol. So it's easy to work with. And I'm going to keep on going here and try to get this done today. Oh, by the way, there's a lot of discussion. Well, there, scratch that idea. That's why I didn't start back there. There's a lot of discussion about why am I doing my floor first. I, good question, and I thought about it a lot before I started. The reason is because the I'm off the grid. I don't have any power lines here. And I don't have any convenient way to hook up fans and blowers and vacuum lines and everything else. I also don't have proper breathing dust mass and stuff. So, sanding a floor like this in an enclosed area after the walls are up would be a nightmarish mess. And I guarantee the dust is going to get on every surface of every single thing. That would be terrible. So therefore, I, am sa I did the sanding first cleaned it off, put a coat of shellac on, yes it's going to get a bit roughed up, but the wood isn't going to be all stained and wrecked and scuffed up and dirty like it would have been if I had left it. So the shellac will help protect the wood surface while we work out here. Yes I said we, I have a volunteer coming over from not too far away, going to work out here afternoons and help me out. So that'll be good, it'll be very good to have help. 
Anyway, then I'm going to put down a protective plastic barrier as we work and it should keep the floor from being scuffed up. Now I would have done that anyway because this is going to be my floor. I want to protect it regardless. I don't want to have it all scratched and ripped to shreds and that's going to present some issues with framing because professional framers will lay the wall down and then nail it in place as they square it up they'll nail it in place and that'll help them to raise it up properly not going to happen here because I don't want nails all over the floor so or holes I should say so it's going to present some interesting issues and complications but we'll deal with it as it goes I think it's going to be all right I have to take off the wheels before framing regardless so that'll do if I get to it today after, let's see how long it takes to do this floor Thinning with alcohol makes a world of difference. That was one half a can without alcohol. And that was a second half a can with alcohol. Double the coverage. So that's one can. I figure split with alcohol, I've got two 4 by 8s I should be able to finish this whole section with one more can. So that'll work out well. I picked up another can while I was in town yesterday, but might not need it. Well, I'll need it eventually for indoors. I'm going to do this a second coat, of course. But it's coming along. I don't know how bad it's going to look when I put this other coat next to this one side by side and continue on. But I guess I'll see how it goes as I, as I work on it. I'm going to continue working backwards to forwards. Um, it looks pretty scary up there right now but it's not supposed to rain it certainly looks like rain but it's not predicted it's supposed to be sunny today it just doesn't look sunny to me well anyway I'm gonna keep on going try to get it all done well it's three o'clock I've been at this for three hours and I still got maybe an hour to go maybe 30 minutes I don't know it takes a while. Uh, it takes a really long time because the plywood is absorbing the stuff quickly and I have to mix it with alcohol to make it even go on. But it's going on and there's no contrast to the two different coats except for that one sheet is really dark looking. I don't know why that one sheet is darker than anything else. It's weird. But everything is blending in well, I think. I'm going to know as soon as I finish this strip on a side-by-side -side comparison, but it's looking all right. I um, guess we'll see. But I'm going to finish this before lunch. I have been, I am determined to do this and finish it before lunch. And, uh, and then I'll take my break. I want to get it done. Because you just never know with this weather. It does look like it wants to rain. Well, two cans and a partial of another. I just had a gust of wind blow up and throw leaves all over the place suddenly. But I was just wrapping it up when it hit. It's been quite calm. Well, there's my floor. Now you can see that line there. I can get that out later. I'm not going to mess with it now. After I've moved in, I can rub that out with a cloth with alcohol on it. But there it is. Done. There's the floor. Now I can start building the walls. This was something I just wanted to do so I wasn't sanding indoors. And then after the walls are up, I'll do another coat of shellac and then wax it. And that's, that's it. It's going to look good. Tell me what you think, everybody. I think it's sort of cool. I think it's going to work. I want to show you, before it gets too dark, I'm transforming. That was weird. Something eating something. That is odd. Where is it? There's a bug attacking a bug. Oh! That's a cicada being attacked by a bee. How sad is that? Well, I don't want to get hurt. That's a wasp, I guess. The cruel insect world. That thing just came buzzing down and slammed on the ground hard. 
So I think the uh, cicada, is that how you say it right, is done for. So look at him stinging. I don't want to get myself involved in that because I'll get hurt. That's stinging. That's a wasp. Boy, that's cruel. Wow. That's crazy to take a bug down bigger than himself. Is that what that is? No, that's not what that is. That's a deer, that's a horse fly. That's a horse fly he's taking on. Well, that's good news. Horse flies are evil monsters. So there's a wasp killing a horse fly. Boy, that's quite a battle. But he's biting with his mouth and stinging with his butt. That is a serious battle. I've never seen such a thing. I hope nobody's offended or upset with this. I wonder if this is one of those cases where they implant their eggs and then let the bug go. I'm not quite, quite sure what's going on there. Yeah, because he's not killing. Yeah, that's a horse fly. Oh, those are monsters. Pretty sure that's what it is. Well, anyway, he's working on it hard. Wow. So I was showing you what, what I'm doing here before it gets dark. I've been painting the go-kart. I still have to do the floor. I've been washing, scraping, and buffing, and painting. I've got all the framing done all the way around. The green frame and the black roll bar is all done new now. It's looking really nice. I'm surprised what a couple cans of paint will do. Really looks good. I'm really impressed. I'll show you again before I uh, before I'm done. Once I finish that floor, but that's enough. That's it for today. It's getting too dark. But bit by bit, I'm fixing this go kart up in my little off times here and there. This only took five or ten minutes a couple times throughout the day to do what I've done here. It's looking good. It's going to look really good when that floor is done. So I just wanted to show you that. I picked at that on and off throughout the day. Now over here, I um, I cranked up. Tomorrow we have a serious rainstorm coming. My parents said they have, they went to Bay City today, Bay City, Michigan, and there was two foot of water on the roads in places. The town is flooded. So I'm cranking this jack up high so that I have a slope. You can see I was painting. <laughs> Uh, so I have a slope downhill for the water to run off. I'm happy I did not level this and take off the wheels yet now because I don't want to put all this stuff back on again and take it off and put it on and take it off and put it on. That's too much work. That was 30 minutes of work just to do that one time. It's too much. So I'm going to use the jack on there and I'm going to cover this and then I'm going to take all this stuff and put it out into the carport which is slowly getting filled up by the way. And then I've got all my caulks and glues and stuff that I've been using. And I'm going to have to put all that out in the carport or out in my tent, I guess. i got some insulation here, rock wool. That's still for the wheel wells. And then for the walls, the interior walls. So everything's got to get put away tonight. Got to batten down the hatches tonight before that storm hits tomorrow. Yeah, so hopefully that slope will be good enough to make the water run down and run off the floor.